Okay, does the underlying adjective tell which one, what kind, or how many? That old man ate small red cherries one summer afternoon. Which old man? That one. So it actually tells you. Let me go ahead and get that. It says which one. Okay. that We don't think of that as being an adjective, but it technically is. Which old man? That old man. All right, fact or fantasy. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States from France. Is that fact or fantasy? It's fact. You can look that up. That isn't made up. That's a fact. You can look that up. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from the United States from France. All right, here's what I want somebody to tell me. How many, is, how many Statue of Liberties are in the world? I want you to find that out for me. When you find that out, come let me know, please. Correct the sentences. Before going to work, Mrs. Bingham jogged around El Estero Park four times. All right, first of all, let's do the obvious. Let's capitalize before. Before going to work. So we've got a phrase there at the beginning of the sentence. Before going to work, there's a natural pause after that. We've got to have a comma after it. Before going to work, Mrs. Bingham jogged, Mrs. Bingham jogged around to El Estero Park four times. All right. Mrs. has to be capitalized. This is somebody's name. Mrs. is a title, and it's an abbreviation, so we have to put a period after it. Bingham is also obviously the last name, so we got to capitalize it. Mrs. Bingham jogged around El Estero Park. Well, what's the name of the park? It's El Estero, so I'm gonna, we're going to capitalize it. We have to. It's the name of the park. Uh, and we're going to capitalize all three words here because the name of the park is uh, is... El Estero Park. So park gets capitalized too. It's just like the name of a business. You capitalize all the words in the name of a business. The name of the park is El Estero Park. It's like Lake Michigan. You don't just capitalize Michigan. The name of the lake is Lake Michigan. The name of this park, El Estero Park. Now, four, that's the homophone problem. So we have to change it to the number. It should be four. Okay. Before going to work, Mrs. Bingham jogged around El Estero Park four times, period. I think that's it. Number four, on August 14th, Dr. Augusto became head veterinarian at the San Diego Zoo. Okay, we have a very similar sentence here. We're going to capitalize on, because it's the first word in the sentence, on, Ag on August 14th. Okay, again, it's kind of like just before going to work, on August 14th. We have a natural pause there. We started off with a prepositional phrase, uh, and so we're going to put a comma after it on August 14th. Now, we got to capitalize August because it's the name of a month, and it's been abbreviated here, so we got to put a period after it. On August 14th, Dr. Augusto, of course, we capitalized somebody's name again, so I'm going to do that. A doctor is a title. That's abbreviated. I'm going to put a period after it because it's abbreviated. And I'm going to finish capitalizing his name. Dr. Augusto became head veterinarian at the San Diego Zoo. What's the name of the zoo? It's the San Diego Zoo, which is actually a very awesome zoo. I got to go there once. It is beautiful. Um, and so the name of the zoo is not San Diego. It's San Diego Zoo. This is almost the exact same sentence. Period. Okay. I think that is everything for that sentence. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Please, hopefully I am. You can get some, uh, get a reward for that. Okay, simile or metaphor. My brother is as stubborn as a mule. Well, this should be obvious because there is a word that gives it away. Like, as, or than. Do you see either like, as, or than? Yeah, I see the word as. I see it twice, actually. Stubborn as. That tells you automatically that this has to be a simile because similes use like, as, or than. Um, I asked another question too. What are the two things being compared? Well, the two things being compared, I'm going to change the color just for this. I'll change it to red. Okay. Two things being compared, guys, are, let me get that again. Brother is being compared to a mule. There's your answer. Okay.